All right, real quick, these are all the tools that I use to do this job. Obviously, you're gonna need a floor jack and jack stands. Half inch gun using a 21 millimeter socket. I used a drill or an impact driver with a wire brushes more like a pipe cleaner style wire brush on the same impact. Basic socket says specifically a 14 millimeter socket, a ratchet, 19 millimeter wrench, torque wrenches, hammer, screwdriver, a breaker bar with a 14 millimeter socket, caliper compressing tool, I just used a basic one, and a brake caliper hanger. These are somewhat optional. I use silicone paste for the pins. I did use some of this brake quiet, just a thin coat. And because of my area where we are, I use some anti-seize on the hub surface so that I don't have any further corrosion. If there's any of these tools that you need, there will be a link in the description or you can check out the comments as well. All right, 21 millimeter socket. All right, we're gonna put this in maintenance mode. Now, luckily for this Mazda, you don't need a special scan tool to get the rear parking brakes, the electronic parking brakes into maintenance mode or to be able to replace the brake pads. You just have to do a simple little procedure. So we push the key in the on position, pushing on the brake and then push down on the parking brake. Make sure that is released which it is. Now we're gonna switch the ignition off. The ignition's off. Now we're gonna push the accelerator pedal all the way to the floor. You feel a little detent, push it all the way down and you're gonna hold it down the whole procedure. Then we're gonna push on the parking brake, hold that down. Then we're gonna push the start stop engine button five times. One, two, Three, four, five, and then let go. You can hear the parking brakes moving. And now it's in service position. You can see on the dash, the parking light is on. So what we can do is turn the key off and now we can go replace our brake pads. Take those bolts out. And just so I have a little more room, I am gonna disconnect the connector right there. And this will slide right out. Just gonna use a brake caliper hanger attach it right here to this bracket just make sure there's no tension on the brake hose Get the brake pads off I'm getting kind of thin oh yeah those are thin huh. and the bolts for the bracket are also a 14 millimeter that one's a little frozen Oh, those are on there. <sighs> to break these bolts free, you're going to need a long brake bar and a half inch and a half inch 14 millimeter socket. They're on there pretty tight. bolts out and slide the bracket off there we go pop it off I'm gonna clean this up with a wire brush I'm just gonna use a thin coat of anti-seize just to prevent corrosion in the future. Don't get it on the studs. That's good. 
slide the rotor on. I'm just gonna put a lug nut on just to hold it on. Obviously it's not gonna fall off, but. And pull the clips off. Those are cleaned up. Now, before I put the clips on, just pull the slide pins out. Now these are pretty tight in here. This should not be this tight. This is probably why these brakes wore out quicker than normal. There we go. Pull those out. Now I'll just clean this out. This is like a pipe cleaner that goes on the end of your drill. Let that dry. I'll do the same on the other side. I'm going to use some silicone paste on the pins. I'd say that's a good amount. Slide the pin in. That slides a lot better than it did. Yeah, that moves. All right, and that's fine. So make sure those move. Those are moving good. Just putting a little silicone just to prov slow down some corrosion. And I'll put the pad clips on. Yeah, those move good. So that goes in like that. going to use a thin coat of this brake disc quiet on the back side just to prevent any noise. I'll just use an acid brush to spread it around. I'll do it thinner than I normally do it but I th it actually might be a little thicker than I thought. Just like that. That's good. Now this one is the outside pad. These squealers or um, warning indicators are going to be down towards the ground. I'll do the same on this one. Just a thin coat of this. Alright, that's good. You can let that dry for 10 minutes before you put it on. You don't want that on the pad material. Alright, so this is the inside. So I'm going to slide this on like this. All right, pads are in the caliper bracket. I'm gonna slide the caliper bracket over the rotor. Take the two bolts, get those started on the back. And make sure you torque those to spec. I grab the caliper the hanger off. Now we're going to compress it. I'm just going to use a regular standard compressing tool. Just go nice and slow. Nothing's binding up, so we're good. All right, that's all the way down. Release. Everything's still lined up there in case it needs to be. There is a little pin on the pads, so if the pin has to go in that slot, it's good. Slide that over the brake pads. Right, so you got to get the motor underneath first and slide it over. Put the bolts in. And 
and a 19 millimeter wrench. Tighten those down, torque those to spec. good. Take the connector, line that up, lock that down. That's good. I'm going to do the same on the other side. All right, now those are all set. Now let's take off service mode for the electronic parking brake. All right, so now we're going to depress the pedal all the way to the floor, the gas pedal. Now we're going to lift up on the parking brake switch while holding that up we're going to push the start stop button five times. One, two, three, four, five. Then release. And I heard the parking brake. And now there is nothing on the dash, no parking warning light. So we're good to go. To go. I'll just turn the key off again. Pump the brake pedal slightly. Now I'm going to start the car. Push the brake pedal down. It's running. Everything feels good. I'm going to engage the parking brake. And it shows that the parking brake's on. And we'll just disengage the parking brake. and it's off. All right, thanks for checking out the video. I hope it helped you out. If you enjoyed it, make sure you check out some of my other videos. I do some automotive and mechanical type stuff, a little bit of tool reviews. These are all my projects that I'm doing on the side and I'm having fun doing it.